What's up, Norberg Nation? How's it going? In today's video, we're going to be reviewing my championship race at GoPro Motorplex for the United States Pro Kart Series Finale. The reason I want to review this particular race is because there is a different strategy to racing when you're racing for a championship. A little background information before we get started with this video. I'm leading this particular championship going into the last couple rounds of the season. The person that I'm competing the closest with in the title is starting second in this race and I'm starting third. And so going into this race, I know there's one person in particular that I need to beat. But at the same time, I'm also trying to win the race. In this video, you're gonna see exactly how I handle that situation. Making sure I beat my championship contender while also not throwing away the race. And at the same time, trying my best not to crash and have a bad result that would ruin my championship run. So now that you know that, let's get started with the video. So I'm starting this race in the third position and ideally, I'm just trying to make it through this first corner. Like I said before, this is a championship race, and so there's no real reason to risk everything just to get a good start. I know the person that I need to beat in the championship is starting on my outside, so you know I'm hopefully trying to get by him in this first corner, but I'm not really looking to because this is a 25 lap final and there's no reason to risk that much going into the first corner you know, and cause an accident and then open the door for something in the championship to happen. So we head into turn one. You can see he throws it pretty late uh, into the first corner and gets a good run out of there. So I wasn't able to get next to him anyways, but I wasn't really too concerned. Um, going down the back straight away, definitely have to block. Um, this is a corner where on the first lap, if you leave the door open, you're just getting freight trained. Um, so I really didn't want to, you know, risk that happening. I didn't want to fall back too far, especially because the leaders are already out to a pretty decent lead. Uh, but going on this first lap, I felt that if I left the door open anywhere, I was going to get passed. So I kind of threw these like half blocks um, while I was driving. And you know, that works sometimes, but it's not the best technique to blocking because if they wanted to pass me, they could. Um, you can see the driver behind me is really not risking much either. And so he's just trying to catch up to leaders. You saw, you know, he pointed to me to work together. Um, but you can see here, he gets a good run. He looks, he stays back in. I didn't really see him at that point. Um, I was just really focusing on trying to catch these front guys, but I didn't feel fast, especially when I go through that corner and the back end steps out. That's not a good sign for me. And you can see right there, I got past, left the door open that one second, and you know they take advantage of it. And that's just the way it is, you know, early in these races. Um, the big thing to know though is like it's 25 laps, so I really don't need to be fighting too hard. I throw a little defend there. Again, it's just kind of a half block. It's not really like something that's going to cost me a lot of time. I just didn't really want my momentum going backwards um, that early in the race. So it was something that, you know, I'm just trying to watch out for and make sure that I'm holding my position. They're racing really hard up front. So here I'm looking to go to the inside. Um, there's a driver to the inside, so I'm going to try and push him through. But again, you know, it's a risky pass to try and, you know, force your way through there on the inside. I knew the guy um, that I'm racing with in the championship, that's Connor Zilich. He's going to try and hold me off. Um, and he knew I was there, so I knew he was going to go in deep into the corner, and I didn't really want to risk that. Um, what I am knowing, though, is like I'm looking back and I'm seeing the field behind us is stacking up, um, and so I don't really want to start getting shuffled back. Uh, that would just be awful. Um, and so I go in pretty late there on the braking zone. I just make a big mistake. Uh, I started, you know, focusing too much on the people behind me, and that's what happens. If you start looking back and focusing too much on what's going on behind you, you just start going backwards. Um, and that was really bad because now I lost another position and instead of focusing on, you know, catching that lead group and going forward, I'm going backwards. Again, you know, 25 lap final, I know I'm lower on the pressures. I always like to run lower on the pressures in these finals. Um, it just helps a lot. You know, when you get into lap 15, you're so much quicker than your competitors. Um, it's so much better to be lower on the pressures. Um, but, you know, that makes it really challenging early on because it's such a long race, you have to run really low on the pressures to, to manage that for so long. But, you know, around this point, it's starting to come over to a side where it's raceable and I can actually control it. You know, early on, it was definitely sliding a lot. You'd see every time through turn three, I'm sliding. And so now I'm starting to manage with these guys when they were kind of pulling away earlier. And that's something that I'm starting to recognize, okay, my cart's raceable now. I actually have some, some leverage out here. Again, that top three group is really like dicing it up. And so that's really keeping me in. And so I'm really liking that because I'm not having to do much and really overwork my cart to stay with these guys. Like they're keeping it, you know, keeping the pace slow enough that I can race with them. Going to try and take this opportunity here. You know, there's a door open on the inside. And I have it 
but realistically I probably could have driven that driver you know into the dirt and really forced him off the racetrack but I didn't want to again because it's the championship race there's no real reason to risk so much right now um, this early in the race I mean we're only lap five or six and there's no real reason to be you know trying to hold the outside you see he slows up there in the center of the corner and that really messed me up because it, I didn't get by him and now I've got this driver behind me that's you know trying to get by me so I pass him um, and then I overshoot the pass again just trying too hard too early and then I just have to let both of those drivers by I waved him by just because there wasn't really any sense fighting it I mean I wasn't really you know in the position to hold the outside there going to that corner uh, the number one passes the 309 right there wasn't really close enough to make a lot happen um, at that moment and so I'm just trying to get back in the rhythm I really want to get by the 309 because he was going backwards and because I kind of saved his race a little bit there I ended up messing mine up so I'm gonna get in front of him right here um, and just try and catch that lead group again they've been racing hard you know all race so hopefully that keeps me in it again the guy that I'm racing with in the championship he's in second right now and so you know, I'm paying attention to that as well. You know, I want to make sure that I can get back up to him. And so I don't want to fall back too far early in the race. Uh, but luckily, they're still racing hard. And it's been half a lap. And I've closed a lot of that gap already. And so I, I know I've got some speed on these guys. And I know that coming to the end, I'm going to be a bit faster. But I need to close that gap. Um, I need to stop making mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes this race. Probably just nerves and stuff, and, and it's costing me a lot of time. I keep falling back. I've lost two positions off of mistakes already, and that's definitely hurt me. And here I looked at the inside of the one, um, and I kind of backed out of it because I've just been so inconsistent on the brakes in that corner. Um, and that's what you know those mistakes do to you. That it causes you to be hesitant. You don't want to be hesitant uh, when you're driving. And so I I didn't pass him, and honestly, that's not not really good you know I should have got by him because the number one wasn't as quick as everybody else here um, and I had a lot more pace than him I can tell he's high on his pressures um, just because of his speed throughout the week and you know he's never really been this fast with this group um, early on and so I know he's high in pressures you can see the two drivers are getting wide there and that's the championship contender that I'm racing with and so I try and pinch him down and I just give up the pass because again it's not worth the risk this early in the race there's a blessing that just happened that now I'm racing with the guy. You know, he was a few carts ahead of me, and now I'm right up on him. Um, so that was a good thing just in itself. So I'm not going to risk it and not trying to throw away anything for just that one spot. Um, we come out of the corner, though, and I'm closer to him. But now I've got pressure from behind, and so, you know, I really need to get in front of this go-kart. And so right here, he throws a little bit of a block. But I, I had the speed, I had the momentum, and I wasn't going to back out just for that. Uh, but definitely now that I'm going down this back straight away, I need to defend going into this next corner. This is a good passing zone for all those drivers, so I'm going to defend. Um, I had that driver on me you know, when I passed him, so that helps give me a buffer to where if I defend, he's got to defend with me. Coming out of this corner, and he hits the barrier. I didn't even notice that he hit the barrier. You know, My head was, was forward at the time. Uh, but yeah, he collected the barrier, and that was you know pretty good blessing again you know I got the championship right there that was all it was um, I look back and see that no one's behind me um, I just assumed that you know the two drivers behind me started to race a lot and that was really what caused them to slow up but in reality you know I just keep my head down and go forward but what I really want to pick up on is the guy in second um, is the driver that I hesitated passing early on because I made those mistakes early and was inconsistent on my braking going to the hairpin I was hesitant to make that pass and now that driver that I was hesitant to pass is in second and I'm in fourth and so at this point I have a lot of speed my tires are coming in and I'm starting to get in a rhythm and starting to pick those spots back off that I lost early but I'm pretty far back you know I'm gonna have to spend two or three laps to get by both of these drivers when if I was just ahead of that driver when I'm you know when I wanted to make that pass and I made that pass stick I would have definitely been in a much better spot and maybe would have been closer to the leader. What I'm looking at though is I see the leaders really far ahead so I gotta clear these drivers in the best way possible that I don't lose a lot of time. Um, I'm hoping just to get by the number one on the straightaway. He had a bad run out of there. He's gonna defend though a little bit. That corner is easy to defend in so I didn't want to throw it in there. I know I've got a lot more speed than him so I just need to wait for the door to open in one of the corners and then it'll just be an easy pass you know I can just pull to the inside right here I'm getting a good run 
probably going to look into this corner, and there I go. Easy pass into there, and wasn't really concerned about him coming back, because like I said earlier, I kind of knew he was on higher tire pressure. He was really quick, and the fact that he's kind of stalling out and starting to slow up this early in the race, I don't even think we've hit halfway yet, um, really shows that he's high in tire pressure, and so you can kind of tell that in drivers. Um, and so I saw that he was high, and so I was like, okay, I'll just wait for him to slow up, find a spot, pick it. I don't even need to block because I know I've got such good momentum going forward and so much more speed, he's not going to pass me back. Um, he's not going to be able to. Um, and so I'm now catching Hannah, and I'm, I'm looking to see if I can work with her possibly. Um, our other teammate um, is, is way out in front, Hayden Jones. He's got such a big lead at this point. Um, so it's going to be a tough tough race to catch back up basically you know it's it's such a difficult spot to be in because I want to try and work with Hannah um, the 308 there I want to try and work with her and get forward and try and you know catch him but at the same time it's hard to work in these these conditions like that you know you don't know she made a little mistake there and so now I go to the inside and so you don't know who's really the faster driver out front until you switch positions but switching positions slows you up quite a bit so you kind of have a catch-22 there where you you want to push and you want to be a good teammate and try and catch the leader, but at the same time, you, you don't want to lose time passing uh, and then that ending up you know ruining your race. So I ended up going back by. She made a mistake, so it was an easy time to get by without losing a lot of time. Um, and basically, the race ends like this. I end up going faster every single lap, and I end up pulling a little bit of a gap on Hannah. She pushes me for a little bit, um, but I pull a little bit of space, um, and I catch the leader probably about half the distance that's there right now I catch the leader but that's probably another 10 laps into this race you know he he was a lot faster he put a lot more consistent times down and he was able to manage the race out front he drove a great race and drove really well and so you know props to Hayden Jones on winning that race great run um, but basically the moral of the story is is you can't make mistakes um, when you're racing races like this because like I said, those mistakes cost me early, not in the fact that I just lost two positions, but it made me second guess myself when I wanted to make passes. It made me not confident with my own abilities, um, and I wasn't able to make those split second decisions. I ended up having to think instead of just attacking, and that really hurt me. That put me on my heels, and I ended up losing positions and losing time. And then, you know, when opportunities were presented where other drivers were to go wide, I wasn't in the best spot to take advantage of those opportunities that really affected my race and it really hurt me because that gap to the leader once I got into second was huge. Um, and if I would have made that pass, I would have been in second probably seven or eight laps earlier and you never know what the result is at that point. Might have been able to close the gap. But as far as a championship goes, it was a good championship. You know, I still was able to win the championship. When it comes to championship racing, you know, you have to play it safe because a crash is way worse than just finishing behind the person that you're trying to beat. So you have to manage that and you have to you know, make all of those calculated risks while you're out there. So there you guys have it. That's a race review of a championship race when you're racing for the championship title. There's a lot of different strategies and things that you're thinking about while you're out there and that affects how you drive quite a bit. Like you saw in the video, there's a ton of split second decisions that I made that really affected the outcome of my race. All those decisions have the championship in mind and that can really affect your race if you don't race correctly. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below any questions you guys have about championship racing and how you should address your final race going into a championship. Like I say in every video, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook, and my TikTok. I post a lot of awesome racing content on there, so make sure to follow along just so you guys can catch up on anything that's happening in my racing career. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next one.